Hey guys, I uh, thought I'd just throw throw a quick video together for uh, for a quick update, just to say why I've been uh, inactive lately. Just haven't been able to keep up with content creation on this channel and others, because um, we're we're getting ready for the birth of our second child, um, theoretically this week. So maybe next week, um, we'll see. Uh, but that's going to keep me um, probably out of action for a few weeks afterwards as well. Um, just you know, for obvious reasons, but, um, been trying to, been trying to do it, but just have not been able to, um, so I thought I'd just make this video, uh, title this video, why I use FreeBSD again, um, I think it's, is it, I'm up to part four now, um, this is not a comparison video, you can do this on Linux, probably better on Linux, I'm not sure, but, um, I've been getting, I'm really getting into LaTeX lately, um, LaTeX has really become a game changer for my business. Um, one of the things that I did, and I think a lot of people do this, um, I made the assumption that LaTeX is a, a, a scientific thing. Like it's a, it's a hard science thing. It's only for physics guys, guys who are doing academic papers, math equations. Um, I'm a words guy. Like I work in language education. I don't, I don't, I don't work with numbers. I work with words. Um, but we, um, so in my, uh, in my biz, my, my business, I employed language teachers to produce language material and, um, we, we mass produce lessons. Um, and up until recently we had been doing this through Google docs and, uh, and word and open office kind of working with templating, um, lots of templates and, and what, what we'd do is we'd send on a template to a teacher and the teacher would do the lessons on the template, save it as a PDF and send it back to us. And of course, there'd always be mistakes. Um, things would, formatting would get messed up. Um, you know, all, all it takes is to accidentally drag something somewhere that it shouldn't be and, uh, or change a color or, and it just became an absolute catastrophe. It was just a headache. And, and so I was looking into, um, I was curious about LaTeX because I'd heard about its templating, um, you know, the way it works, basically. It's, um, you, you create a preamble template um, that sets the document up and then it, it just keeps the rest of the document consistent. Everything stays the way it should. Everything looks right. Um, it is by far, like I... I'm still a newbie at this. I'm not even trying to teach you how to do this because I'm still learning it myself. But um, it is by far from what I can see superior to, to Word um, or, or Google Docs um, for what we do. So, um, you know, we've, we've kind of been, I've been, um, I paid a LaTeX professional to create a, uh, a lesson template based on what we'd originally been using. And um, which I can't show you right now because it's all, um, it's not something that I, we can't, we can't publicize what we do, um, too much, but, um, basically, yeah, like we, we paid this guy to do it, put it together and, and it just looks phenomenal. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Like the, um, the guys, the, the teachers now, um, send us through, um, the lesson content, which is automatically parsed into, uh, LaTeX code and the template we just compile the, the code we compile the code and it just looks phenomenal but uh, another thing I, I thought I'd just show for for guys who were in my situation a few months ago where I didn't really know and I thought it was just some obscure kind of physics thing um, basically like we're at, right now we're working on a, a paperback series for uh, for my Arabic stuff and um, what what you basic what it is uh, in the preamble you set up the document class which I'm I'm using a memoir template that I that I found online, um, and and you basically add in the packages which is kind of like uh, include in C like you're you're including additional functionality so in this particular instance I'm including. Um, like this is the most important package, which is polyglossia. I'm setting my main language to English and my other language to Arabic. So throughout the document now, I can revert back into Arabic. Um, I've set the Arabic font and the English font, and I can switch between those two languages as I go through. And, and I've added a bunch of other pack packages here to, 
um, that I can I can use different functionality for. Um, you set up the physical document size. In this particular instance, it's a paperback book of um, uh, six by nine. And then down here, I've I've swapped out some some information here because it's not public yet. But um, basically, you you can set uh, with the new command you can set aliases. So um, so for example, we have an eight part series that's coming out soon, um, and I can put instead of putting instead of going through the entire document and putting in um, Egyptian Egyptian Arabic. What I can do is I can put in dialect here, which is like an alias, and then when I when it comes time to do the next book, let's say Iraqi Arabic, I just change this here to Iraqi, um, like so, and then compile it, and then every instance of dialect throughout the entire book, throughout the entire um, publication, will switch to Iraqi. So I don't have to go through and manually change everything. Or I don't have to go through and search replace every text like as you would with uh, Microsoft Word. Like the template has taken care of that for me. So um, it, it's phenomenal what you can do with this. I, I'm, I'm only just scratching the surface. Um, what's another thing that I've, I've figured out how to do which is really... Um, oh, here, look. Um, so we had a problem with the publication which is that um, you know Arabic reads from right to left and English left to right obviously. And on the, the table of contents, um, uh, I needed a way to switch it over so that you've got like introduction, you've got the, um, the introductory, you know, about this book, blah, 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 um, which is in English and it's, it's left aligned. And then on the right, uh, on the, once it gets the Arabic chapter names, it switches over to right to left. And so I needed something for that. No, and I found out that you can actually do this with hooks. So I created a hook which switches it over to right to left and um, changes the font and the, and the size of the font over to Arabic. So, um, and then down here I've sort of inserted that, that hook and, I can, and then I can, um, I can revert it back to the English. So, I mean, there's just, there's so much you can do with this, man. Like it's, you know, I, I say this as a total noob to LaTeX. Like if you're a LaTeX guy watching this, if you're a LaTeX, like, yeah, I mean, this is, this is phenomenal. And if you, you know, if like me, you, you work with uh, documents, with words, um, and you've, you've kind of had no idea about LaTeX or you've kind of assumed that it's some kind of scientific thing. Um, actually, I'll just show you this. I kind of, like I said, I kind of swapped out a few things. I didn't want to give too much away. Um, oh, that doesn't look good. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean it's perfectly formatted, and there's uh, that's what I was talking about before with this, the the um, Arabic chapter that, um, chapter names that have kind of flipped over to the right, and and you know, I I just don't know if that would have been as easy to do um, the way we were doing it before with Word and Google Docs, but this is amazing. You know, now we've templated this, we can we can create an entire series based on this one template. So we put a lot of work into the LaTeX in the beginning to set it up and then uh, creating content later on is just a, a piece of cake. You know, you, you're just swapping out the text. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what I've been working on lately. I'd, I'd like to go more into detail on that, but this particular project is um, when we're not releasing it for a couple more weeks. So I kind of can't really say much right now. Um, the... Uh, you know, I also, I, I don't feel like I'm able to, to do a tutorial on LaTeX because I'm still figuring out LaTeX. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you're, like I said, if you're, a, if you're a words guy, if you do lots of documents, um, if you're, an, if you're a, a writer, then, um, yes, I highly recommend looking into it. It's, it's really, really good. Thanks, guys.